All right, guys, what's up? Today I'm here with my friend Ethan who lives out of his truck just so that he can hike mountains every single day. What's up, Ethan? Today we're gonna be exploring everything you do and how you do it. Right now we're at Whole Foods, so we're gonna get some supplies. <laughs> Cause I'm just a brown man, I'm, I'm not prepared for this stuff at all. <laughs> All right guys, so we just got out of the Whole Foods. I got my water, some cliff bars. Ethan got some energy stuff, cause he needs that energy. All right guys, we are in Ethan's truck. So Ethan, where are we gonna be going today? Uh, we're gonna head up Mount Sinitas. Mount Sinitas in Boulder, Colorado. Now I don't even, I've never been there before. This is an all new experience for me. So uh, we're gonna see what that's gonna be like today. So Ethan, as a, as a car kind of YouTube channel, we gotta ask some questions about your uh, vehicle here. Sure. What kind of engine is this run? Um, it's a 5.3 liter V8. Damn. Like Duratec or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it diesel or gas? It's gas. We're in a V8, boys. You know how we do. I had a Tacoma before. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. That thing was cool too. I love the Tacoma, but it was really small yeah. for living in. Yeah, and you made it like, you put like the top on the back and everything too. Yeah, right? originally I had made my own like camper out yeah. of wood. You saw that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Point. It yeah. was horrible because uh, it was heavy and very dangerous on the highway. Oh, for real? Yeah. The wood thing? Yeah. yeah, it was like 500 pounds on yeah, the dude. Tacoma. Okay, so this one time I was just driving and I see like Ethan driving. I remember I, I, yeah. I text. I it was in Castle Rock, I think. Yeah. And like I was driving and then like his car was like so low and he was kind of like driving slower than like everyone else. <laughs> and then I look back and like I look out of the window and I see that it's Ethan. I'm, dude, I thought you were a Mexican. <laughs> do people ever like see you like wake up and then you no, just. No, sometimes I do have some really funny interactions really? in the morning. But uh, I'll put like, because I've got the. Yeah, the shades and everything. Windscreens and yeah, stuff. And yeah. I have a shade for the back window too. Yeah. Yeah, one time I woke up and it was after I'd run a 50k and I woke up and I was like, my legs were sore and so I was like, I just still had my shorts on. Yeah. And I roll out of the back, basically like fell out. Yeah. <laughs> and this lady was parked next to me. <laughs> I didn't realize that she was in her car. Yeah. And I'm just like rubbing my legs with um, <laughs> Biofreeze. Yeah. This is like this menthol. It's like Bengue or something. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. All right guys, so I accidentally bought sparkling water and I opened it and it just drenched me, so. Oh. Who buys sparkling water, bro? <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna get a tour of Ethan's truck real quick before we go on our hike. Ethan's gave, graciously given me this uh, hiking backpack, as you guys can see, so I'm not so basic anymore. So yeah, this truck, like Ethan slept in this thing. Like you slept in it, like how many times, how many days do you think you've slept in it? Um, That's a well, weird this question. This truck, I've only had it since February, but I've been living in the trucks for a little over a year. So like in that year, like how many times have you slept in like an actual house? Uh, once. One time? Yeah. Dang, so like 364 days he's in this <laughs> All right, so give us the tour, Ethan. How do you, how do you manage this? <clears throat> how do I manage it? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, you just kind of get in. So I've got storage bins all on the sides, which is kind of nice, but like my clothes and shoes, yeah. I've got a lot of shoes. They just all fill that. Yeah, just <laughs> that giant section. Stuff. And then, so it, what's cool is the floor comes up and I can put it oh, dang. up on top of that. Yeah, and it becomes a bed. Yeah, oh, but usually dang. what I'll do, so if you want to sleep like two or three people, you can do that. Yeah. But generally I'll just leave the floor down and that yeah. section in the back goes down. Oh, and I'll okay. just sleep long ways. Dang. So that little cupboard is where I keep all my food, my dishes and everything. Yeah. I don't cook a lot because it's it's hard. It's, it's kind of tough. Yeah. I need to figure out the kitchen situation. I had a better kitchen in the Tacoma. Yeah. Doesn't it get cold? Um, yeah, so I've got I got a couple of really good sleeping bags. I have a 30 degree and then a negative 10 degree sleeping Dang. bag. And then a down blanket just in case. But Down is like synthetic goose feathers, right? It's just goose feathers, yeah. Oh, okay. And I bought a pillow, which was nice. I was really against pillows when I first moved into a truck. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then I got one and I really liked it. Um, I'd have like 50,000 pillows. So let's get, let's get going on the hike. And as you guys know, I seriously, I haven't done like an outdoor thing in like a year, you know? So we're gonna see how this ends up. Hopefully good. All right guys, what's up? So we just started the trail. I don't know where we're going yet. But uh, one thing I've noticed, there are a lot of white people here, as expected. 
Well, just as I said that, I got food. <laughs> All right, besides that one exception, exception, there's a lot of white people here. <laughs> and it's so funny, because they're so nice, and I was like, hi, how are you doing, you know? All right, guys, we've made it up pretty far. I'm so tired. Ethan's, Ethan's just climbing. We literally just started. This is a bad side for me, fellas. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to power through this for the people. All right. Guys, I'm so tired. There's those two people down there, and they're tired. They said they just started to. And look at Ethan. Let's take a look at Ethan, bro. He is not even tired. He's trying to run, bro. Ethan enjoys this type of stuff. <laughs> I've literally climbed like 200 feet, right? I don't know. I'm so tired. <sighs> Look at this man. He's not even, he's not even out of breath. You know those stories that are like, this person died from exhaustion, right? It's cause you got people like me with People like Ethan. Look how far he just went. I'm done. I can't do this. He's waiting for me. I told him. I was like, it's like a toddler going on a hiking trip. <laughs> the amount of stairs I climbed, I feel accomplished climbing up like 10 stairs at school, right? I'm always like, you know what, today I won't take the elevator. And I take the stairs, and now I'm done. Look at this man, bro. Uh, Ethan, how, how, how much longer, bro? Uh, like, still like a mile, point seven. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw up, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, so one thing about Ethan is uh, when we were in high school, he would like climb rocks. They call it bouldering, you know? But what he'll do is, He'll climb rocks, just like cliffs, like straight up. Bro, I'm a freaking die, dude. <sighs> Bro, Ethan, I gotta go to the bathroom for real, dog. Go ahead, back down. All right, guys. We had to quit. I had to quit. I couldn't do it. Too high up. Even though we went like 0.2 miles or something. But that's what it be like sometimes, you know? You always start something. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta stop before you die or something, you know? I'm gonna take an easier trail than that because that was a really steep one. Not really good for beginners, you know? Guys, my legs are shaking. Like I can't even feel them anymore. I'm just like an autopilot robot. And Ethan's just cruising along. Ethan's like a speedboat. And I'm like one of those like little boats with the paddles trying to make it through World War II. It's such a bad idea. All right guys, so we just, Ethan, where did, where did we climb? Uh, about there. We were like, we climbed like right up to like there on the mountain. Ethan says it was 0.6 miles on his little yeah. magic watch, you know, but that watch don't know me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ethan says it's kind of normal for pe new people, you know? Cause I ate eggs in the morning too, so. So now we're gonna go on a different, more flatter trail. Kind of more for beginners. So my main issue is that, like I don't gotta go to the bathroom no more. But I think my, 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 my face gotta go to the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't know I don't know either, but it feels like it. All right guys, what's up? This is trail number two. So we just went up there, walked a lot of miles, ran a lot of miles. Um, Ethan's like a motivator, you know? You get behind me, you want, it makes me want to do stuff. All right guys, what's up? So we're at the end of our journey, back at the Whole Foods again. Um, so Ethan, thanks for that. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully Ethan will enjoy the video after he watches it too. It was a lot of fun, man. All right, man. See you later, bro. Take it easy. You too, buddy. Just